everybody, it's Hermosus, and welcome to another Legends of Runeterra video. In today's video, uh, we are going to be showcasing a champion we have not showcased before in a very fun combo deck. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to be playing some Assembly Bot Draven Vi combo. So this deck is working to one-shot your opponent. Basically, you might do some chip damage here and there, but you're aiming to do over 10 damage in one turn by like turn 6 or 7. And how are we accomplishing this? Well, we are using Vi, who gets up to 10 attack, because it's plus 1 attack up to max 8 attack, so she can get up to 10 attack. See, her level up form is a 10-5. And when she strikes a unit, she deals 5 damage to the enemy nexus. That part, not as important, but the big part is that she can easily get 10 attack. So with her easily getting a 10 attack, you give her something like Might, and now she has 13 attack and Overwhelm. Likewise, we have things like Whirling Death, so then that 13 damage can go straight to the face if you get rid of the unit that's blocking her. Same thing with Bloody Business. And for added bonuses, we got things like Rune Weaver. Blade Squire and Weapon Hilt to all give us these shards, these uh, blade fragments. Now the blade fragments are really important, mostly for the Overwhelm fragment. We really want this to give Overwhelm to our Vi, Overwhelm to our Ballistic Bot, and Overwhelm to Assembly Bot. So these are very nice. The plus two attack can also be very helpful to give more burst damage. We're looking basically to make a bunch of units, or just a couple units, probably just a couple, soup them up to ridiculous amounts of attack, and then hit the opponent with the Overwhelm and completely wipe them out. So like Ballistic Bot creates Ignition in hand. This Ignition, every time you play a created card because of Augment, he gets plus one attack. So every Ignition we played, plus one attack. Every Fragment we play on him, plus one, or just play in general, plus one attack. The reason why we're running Draven in this deck is because Draven Axes count for that. They will give Augmented units plus one attack. So an Axe basically gives a Ballistic Bot plus two attack. Same thing if you put it on an assembly bot, because assembly bot is when you cast a spell, it gets plus one, plus one. So an axe gives it a temporary plus one and a plus one, plus one. And same like ballistic bots, all their ignitions give the assembly bots more, give plus one, plus one. All the fragments give assembly bot plus one, plus one. So we are running a pretty spell heavy um, combo deck with might, sharp, and resolve, whirling death, things like that, to try and make our units big and buff in order to then one-shot uh, the opponent. That's pretty much it. We're running a one-off of stress testing for Draven's Axes, basically, just to discard and hopefully get us more cards that we need in the moment. But besides that, we're running a one-off of Progress Day for some card draw, and got Bloody Business, got Whirling Death, and a three of Sharpen Resolve. Uh, the reason why this is a three of is because the plus two health can often keep units alive, which we kind of need because... Our entire game plan revolves around big units and in the face. So there we go. That's the deck. Uh, this deck is not this exact deck, but this like concept, right, is is usually run with Riven instead of Draven, because Riven generates you the fragments, and you can get like the Riven's weapon, which is really strong for that this big attack. The reason why I like Draven better is that the axes cost zero, so you can have you know if you especially with having three, or oh, is it? three Whirling Deaths and three Bloody Businesses, it's actually pretty easy to level up Draven. And when Draven's level up, you generate a ton of axes, and each of those axes is another spell counter, is another creative card, and you generate so much attack for zero mana. That's why I like Draven. And in addition, well, it also works with Rimmage. All right, so that is the deck. Without further ado, let's get into some games with it. Okay, we are going to be playing some dragons, some big boy dragons. Now, the issue with big boy dragon, uh, alright, the issue with dragons, um, the issue with dragons is that they have hush and concerted strike. Concerted strike a little bit less of an issue because we can potentially just like uh, bloody business around it, but hush is really a problem because we're putting a lot of buff spells into whatever thing we do so they can do a lot of damage all at once and all that, you know, uh, 10, 12, 8, whatever amount of damage we have can easily be negated with a hush. So, just have to see about that. 
I would say right now that Hush and Flash Freeze are the two biggest things to stop this deck. Draven! It's Draven time. It's Hatched Egg time. He's drawing some dragons. It's fair. All right. Can I improve perfection? You know I can, Mr. Robot. We're just gonna do a full attack here. We'll lay on six damage before he gets his dragon off, generate some more axes and things like that for ourselves in the process. Because I imagine he has a Shriviviana, which he does. Uh, we'll play an Ignition, try to get our Ballistic Bot health up a little bit. Our attack, I mean. Make it a little bit stronger. Um, we can save the three mana. I would like to keep the Sharpen Resolve as a reactive play if I could. And Draven to give a Whirling Death as a reactive play. Fantastic. Love to see it. So with Whirling Death, so that this... Um, this deck is also a lot about reactivity. You need to be able to answer your opponent trying to kill your stuff because you have to keep your units alive. So where's Legala Whirling Death? And we have a Sharpen Resolve. Well, that's six mana. And if we use a Mystic Shot on top of that, so like I could axe away the Ignition on Draven. Also axe away a Stress Testing. I could give Draven five attack. With 5 attack, I can then Whirling Death kill this. See, I would say that normally like they would just burn all my mana, right? But dragons kind of have this weird impulsive thing where they just feel like they have to attack. Like, all the time. I don't know why, but anyone who plays dragons never feels like they can just like stop. They always feel like they have to attack. Which I am all for. Keep doing it. Because it really, uh, really helps me out. So whenever we play a created card, this gets one more. So we can go like this. Now he trades with that. Draven trades with this. We also have a bloody business. So we can say, all right, that's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do I want a Mystic Shot this, or do I want a Bloody Business at first? We can go with like a... What are you waiting for? Draven, what am I waiting for? I'm assuming he has some kind of sharp sight or single combat, something like that, to keep his unit alive. Most people don't want to get rid of their big Shivana. Alright, there is a single combat coming out. So Shivana is trying to hit for a lot of damage. Um, but she's just trying to like fully punch this, right? So that does 5 damage. But if we shoot Shivana first, she goes down. Da -da 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 -da. So if like we just shoot Shivana, now just that happens. So I guess that works. I think I could have done that a little bit better with the ordering. Maybe if I gave all the attack to Draven and then had him at things to generate more axes, might have been a little bit better. Because now he doesn't have any axes to hit with. So that's a little awkward. But regardless. Okay. That is uh, A-OK, -okay, my friend. A-OK. -okay. We will go for a Whirling Death. Don't have a Hush. Sharp Sight. So everything dies.
Unfortunate. We do get multiple axes, though, out of it. And sadly, only two damage. Alright, now we need something like a Vi or a Ballistic Bot. Something that can really ramp up with attack. Uh, we'll play the Blade Squire first. Okay, well, hopefully he doesn't have another single combat or something of the sort. Or one of those. That is um, quite annoying. Alright, how are we going to win this? Let's see, we got two two drops that do four damage. Alright, so we have 4 damage, we have 6 damage, we have 7 damage. I don't think Assembly Bot's enough. I think we have to attack with these two first. Okay. We have potential. Okay, we have potential. That's fine. We need him just to not have a bunch of strike effects and we can potentially win with our big assembly bot. Or not. Alright. Well, not when he's throwing a bunch of stuff at us. So I think what we're going to have to do is make this assembly bot really big by sacking the blade squires to give their, their uh, things. Their blade fragments. So we're just going to hope that he does not have a hush or a single combat or anything like that. Hoping that he used them all already. Because we just gotta go in. We are just going in. Are they all... Were they both quick attack... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on a hot second. How did I get two quick attack fragments? I was supposed to get ones that I never don't get before. How did I get two quick attack fragments? I thought they were all supposed to be different. I thought you get... Oh, whatever. Alright, so I'm saying, we had this 1-1 this one, one bot, and now it's an 11-5 murder machine. And now it's a dead 11-5 murder machine. Awkward. Okay, we are against a uh, speeder deck. So for the speeder deck, I'm definitely going to keep Whirling Death and Mystic Shot. I feel like we might just get bum-rushed down. But hopefully we can. We get a Vi early. I like that. Um, generally, a problem with aggro decks, though, is that we die before Vi even comes out. Because Vi, generally, we're, we're attacking on two. So we're going to play Vi on turn six. So very likely that we'll just die before Vi even pops out. And, you know, what to do with that, then? But not the case right now. They don't have any units. Nice. There's nothing. Okay, they got an Elise. That's fine. Alright, so we got a decent amount of mana. We got two Whirling Deaths, which I do like to see as well as the Mystic Shot from Nice Removal. Uh, she's doing this, that, this, them spider shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to let the spider live, though. We're going to summon Draven. Got our Vi to four. Okay, Stalking Shadows. A-OK -okay there. We can... Well, with two Whirling Deaths, we have the potential for a lot of, uh, of Draven power going on. We'll see what kind of things they try to throw at us. In order to stop that. So another Vi isn't really what we want to see. Um, I will just attack with Draven, I think. We could potentially even just discard the Vi. I assume he's just not going to block here. Or if he blocks, it'll be with the 1-1. One, one. Nope, no block. A lot of people just don't block there. Um, it does generate me another Axe, which isn't terrible. Definitely not the worst thing. But not like I can do a lot here. 
another might or so we're really ranking racking ranking get him get him big damages lots of big damages and it seems like a control deck that he's playing um we could potentially go for like a draven level up because we do have double whirling death Okay. All that matters now is the little ones. You dare. All right, that's a lot of ephemeral units. That is a whole bunch of ephemeral units. A whole bunch. All right. Yep. Cool. Oh, you don't want to attack with Maokai? Dang. So, he's a, he's a smart cookie there, not attacking with Maokai. We are going to discard one of our Vi's, we don't really need two of them, in order to put an Axe on Draven, and we're going to Whirling Death this Spider Queen right here, and this will upgrade our Draven, because he's striking once with this and striking once against her for the double strike. Getting another axe. And getting ourselves a nice big Draven. Draven! Draven! So even though he did hit me for a decent amount of damage. How many cards do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, for 4 mana, it's not like I can stop anything. I'm just going to play my Vi. We'll do this to threaten the Maokai for next turn. As long as he doesn't have Black Spear. Doesn't look like it. But kill this Maokai here, because he's annoying. Assembly bot would be pretty cool, actually, but I think we just go... Oh, uh, can I not get all the axes possible? Can I not get every axe in existence? Alright, I'll play an assembly bot first. I can try to pump up this assembly bot a decent amount. So let's like go like this. And we can get the the double axes in the process. Um, let's just up this by one. So he knows we mean business. Make that a bigger bot so it does trade with the spiderling correctly. All right. Now we have tons of axes, and we're looking good. Now the problem, the big problem, is that Ruination could be a thing. Ruination is no longer a thing. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He wouldn't play Maokai if he's planning Ruination, because why would he kill his own win condition? So that is good for us. Our bot is only one health, but we can easily make it larger. We have lots of axes in our hand, as well as a couple fragments. That doesn't really matter. We have a lot of ways to stop that. Like I said, many, many axes, as well as things like Mystic Shot and Whirling Death to keep ourselves uh, nice and lively. Go ahead, swing, do it. Man, Maokai plus Curse Keeper. Let's get three saplings with Challenger. Crazy stuff. You're not gonna hook the Vi? All right. Taking six damage, but like I said, well, Mystic Shot, the one that's trying to kill our buddy Draven, that'll put this up to two health. And we can just, um, when you strike, right, you level up when I strike for 10 damage. All right. And there we go, because every card we play gives Vi plus one attack until she gets to 10. So now Vi's at 10, this is at three, and now we have an entire board living. Thank you very much. Thanks for playing. So Vi will level, our Draven will live, and our assembly bot will live. 
all very crucial things for next turn when we completely obliterate our opponent. Yeah, let's go, Vi. Alright, we are at 6 health, but that is A-OK. -okay. Shadow Isles doesn't have many insta-kill finisher things, unless he's playing a lot of burn, like, uh, the Doom Beasts? Sure, 7 mana, he could potentially, like, if he had Doom Beast double whatever the other thing is, the moon stuff. Alright, so Crawling Sensation really doesn't matter. You're just dead next turn. You can summon more spiders if you want to. Like, I have Overwhelm for him. I have Overwhelm for Vi. Y'all gonna die. Maybe. I mean, they... Ooh, that's nice. Like, they definitely can have things around it. But, um, yeah, we'll focus up Draven. Gonna throw a Might on this dude. Um, and we could use... We have... How much? So we don't have enough mana for Whirling Death and another Might. Right so I feel like we should just save it because I can do this, but then I can't. I want to um, Whirling Death and Might, so I am not going to play the Weapon Hilt now. Oh, wow. So that just... Yeah, there we go. That's what I mean. So it was it was turn 8, not turn 7. Turn 7, we could have tried for a lot more damage, but... For you got it. Alright, it looks like we will be against a TLC. So a uh, trundle Lassandra c -c 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 combo breaker. They do have Frostbite. It's very sad. Depending on the version, can run one too many Frost Biddles. We don't need a Mystic Shot. It's basically useless in this matchup. Uh, they're not going to be anything for Mystic Shot. Assembly Bot's only going to be good after we have Axes, because if not, it's just going to get killed by all their numerous forms of AoE. Like I said, Mystic Shot is still trash in this matchup. But we will see how well we can do. Ballistic Bot's actually really good with the three health. It's pretty. It, it, it is pretty hard for them to clear three health effectively. Uh, it's definitely a two card combo to clear three health. So both Ballistic Bot and Draven are pretty decent. I'd say if we can get like early Frostbites out of them, maybe to for them to stop Draven, that'd be nice. Okay, so we're on treat. So we now know they have a uh, Trundle or Lassandra in hand, but they're limiting their reactive mana. So now they only have four mana, so they could play. The party has they could play something like a um, a word that I'm not. A thing they could play. They they could play a thing. <laughs> Flash freeze. Alright. Um. Got access, need victims. We'll hit that attack. We'll hit that Draven. Let's get another axe going. Don't mind the other axe. Don't mind it at all. So with having four mana next turn, we can assembly bot into rummage. Uh, I'm going to play the ignition now to get our ballistic bot slightly bigger. And do that sexy one damage. Never saw it coming. Okay, a Blade Squire. Not terrible. Probably go for the Assembly Bot, though. Although we can only get the Assembly Bot to a 3-3. Three, three. I guess we could get it to 4, but that involves discarding quite a bit of cards. And I don't particularly want to discard the cards that give us uh, shards. But if he goes beneath 4 mana... If he plays like Lissandra, then we are safe. Okay. He didn't play Lissandra. One, two, three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that basically means we're not safe. 
because uh, I don't want him to be able to really threaten the Ballistic Bot much. But now we can play Assembly Bot, sorry, Assembly Bot, not Ballistic Bot. Now we can play Assembly Bot without much of a worry. Oh, uh, we do have a lot of spells to back it up. Back it up, back it up. Um, so if you, if you try to like do some AOE removal, uh, we definitely have a lot of ways to make it substantially larger. He also might have drawn Trundle, so maybe we'll see a Trundle coming out, and we'll have some robot on troll fighting time. Boop, boop. Ah, boop, 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 boop. Give the troll the old one, two. You know, the bop, 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 bop. All right. This man is not doing nothings. He is not doing anything. I was gonna say, now's the time when you avalanche. And look at that. Now is the time when he avalanche. Um, we can get rid of ignition and get rid of. Like I said I. I'm not a huge fan of Mystic Shot in this one. I think we'll get rid of the Mystic Shot. Um, and I'll. Do I want a spinning axe? A spinning axe. I can't spinning axe this. Yeah, well, spinning axe away one of these. Time for the money makers. And that will keep everything alive. Thanks for playing. So now everything is alive and dandy. He doesn't have, except for like, I mean, if he has an ice shard, he has an ice shard. Um, not really much I can do about that. If he plays ice shard, I think I actually just lose. Like, I don't think there's any way around that. If he has another board wiping now without me getting this damage off. Okay. I mean, Iceville Archer is fine. I don't mind Iceville Archer. Thing, this is the thing. He knows I have an axe in my hand. Okay. So he is going... The funny thing is I can actually level up Draven here, which I kind of want to do. Um, I can axe away the Blade Squire. Oh, probably axe away the Rune Weaver, actually. I can axe Rune Weaver. Now we're cooking. Give it to Draven. And then if I Whirling Death to Draven, I still get a leveled up Draven. Though, yes, he does still Vile Feast my bot, so that's kind of annoying, but... You know. Boom! So like I said, it's pretty easy to level up Draven. We just, we have an axe. Nice! Run, Draven! Bit of a precarious spot. We did have to uh, discard a lot of things to make this play happen. Our units are also kind of low on health to be facing a deck with so much AoE removal. So if you play something just like a uh, thing that does two damage to everything, you know it's just annoying. The the okay or Trundle is fine. I'm I'm very okay with him playing Trundle actually. I have no issues with that. We can just pump up a Squire with a Sharpen Resolve. I'm not sure if it helps a whole lot to play play Ballistic Bot now. It's not terrible, I guess. Most of his things I think he'd be doing in combat are like burst speed anyway. Like he could second avalanche, but that's not that bad for me anyway. Um, I think we full attack here. We have enough combat tricks that we should be able to come out on top. He obviously won't run his troll into Draven and not into the robot, the assembly bot, unless he has, because robots kick trolls butts, in case you didn't know. In nature, right, the robot is the natural predator to the troll. It's a well-known fact that trolls hate robots, not because they can't build them, but because robots hunt them. Now you know. So, he's definitely trying something with this play, right? Like, he has to preemptively do something. Or I guess not preemptively. 
I guess he doesn't have to preemptively do anything. But see, now I can, like, might, right? And now this is mighted. And now he's not looking so hot. And what if I just, like, do this and I give an axe to Draven? Now we're cooking. And now he's not really, and really not looking so hot. Sorry, my game DC'd for a hot second. So I'm assuming he has some kind of freeze effect. Um, it's a matter of does he have two flash freezes or one. So he just has one. Oh no, you have one flash freeze. If only I had something which gave plus four damage. So now I have a 14-8 assembly bot. What you got? Nothing! 14-8 assembly bot, 13 damage. Come on, TLC. You're supposed to be a top tier deck. How are you getting beat by a giant robot? What up? That was a fantastic game, and that is where I will leave the video. You guys have seen Ballistic Bot and mostly Assembly Bot in action, and how easy it is to level Draven, how much Draven helps. Super fun, super rewarding. You just gotta, you gotta play around Flash Freeze and uh, Strike Effects from Dragons. But besides that, that will do it for today's video. If y'all like the video, please help me out and hit me up with a like and a comment. And, you know, subscribe if you want to, too. Not saying you gotta, but if you would be so inclined. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.